Hey guys, Andy Wilhelm here. Today we are learning Thug's Mansion by Tupac. Um, one thing I'll note about this song is, um, if you, as you saw in the intro, I am borrowing a couple licks from the song and also adding my own. So this is definitely the tune that you want to sort of exercise your own sense of creativity. Um, besides the fact that if you listen to the song, there's Throughout the song, it sounds like there might be two or three guitars layered in there, so I don't think uh, that's one person playing it all at once. And um, yeah, so let's just get started with the lesson. Here we go. All right, so the first thing is we got the first chord. It is a G sharp major chord. I'm not gonna do too spend too much time or really explain where these chords are because if I do, it might it's probably a bit too difficult for you to learn. So we're starting with the G sharp major. And that lick, it, directly from the song, is like... Okay. And so it's basically ring finger on the 5th fret of the uh, G. And we're hammer on our pinky. You see that? And then we're hammering, uh, pulling off onto the 3rd fret of the same string. Okay. And then we're going to our pinky, which is going to be on the D string, on the 6th fret. And we're pulling off to our first finger, which is going to be the 3rd fret of the same string. Okay, so... Okay. So you got... Okay. We're going right to the C minor 7 chord. Be a classic R&B lick. Okay, and so I'm just basically taking my ring finger, I'm barring the uh, the fourth fret on the B and E string. Okay, so I'm starting there, but I'm sliding up pretty much immediately. So it's okay, and then I'm gonna hit the uh, the sixth fret of the E string when I do that. So here we go, and I'm sliding back down. So. You can either just hit both notes like this, or you can just kind of do individual ones. It both kind of have a different effect, in my opinion. Okay. Then right after that, we're going to uh, B flat minor seven, and we're sliding to C minor seven. So, and then we're going right to the D flat major seven. So you got. So, okay, the next lick, again from the tune, is you're taking your first finger, you're putting it right on the third fret of the uh, G, and then you're going to take your second or middle finger, and we're putting that on the fourth fret of B, and we're going to just take that same shape and slide it up two frets and slide it back down. So it sounds like... Okay. The next one. So, it sounds like... Alright, a little slower. Alright, and we're gonna slide back to that C minor again from the B flat minor except this time we're going to this diminished shape okay and that is going to be you're going to take your second or middle finger you're going to put that on the sixth fret of the uh, G this note take your first finger you're going to put that on the fifth fret of the uh, B and you want to take your uh, ring finger and that's gonna go on the 6th fret of the E so so alright now as far as some of those licks I were doing um, let's just go through so the first chord uh, I'm just doing a little hammer on thing with my pinky right where my uh, second finger is and I'm trying to I'm hitting a couple other notes too that are above it so it's kinda like See that? So 
if I were to play it single note, it kind of sounds like... the C minor, doing the classic R&B lick, uh, this sort of a, okay, and that's just, if your hands are already in that position, you're going to take your pinky hammer on and off from the third to the sixth, so, okay, and then we're going to do the slide up again, of course. And uh, you can just kind of like earlier, uh, we're going to just go s s Okay, and which is just basically taking my ring finger starting again on the fourth fret with those two notes and I'm sliding back two frets. And just going right back where I started. And then we're going to diminished, course, uh, diminished chord this time. And since this is a movable shape every three frets, whether you're going forward or back, you kind of have your option. Um, so I just go three frets down, and that takes you. Okay, so I do. So mess around with that, see what kind of licks you can come up with, and just keep in mind a lot of these little uh, fills, they come straight out of the chords. So when you hold these chords, just kind of look at them, and you can see little shapes within them. And you know, try messing around with some hammer-ons, some pull-offs, uh, learn some Hendrix, um, learn some Red Hot Chili Peppers, and you can definitely absorb some ideas from those guys.